John Mendez here, another of our how-tos. This one, how to recover your boat onto its trailer. Now, if you've launched it successfully, in theory, it's just a reversal of the process. Key things, you need to keep the speed as slow as possible whilst maintaining control, and we've got a breezy day, so that makes it quite entertaining. And then we need to get the boat straight on the trailer because that makes it awfully easy compared to slightly at an angle. The other key thing we've got to think about is, are we going to drive it all the way on? And be positive, get it straight, and then drive it up to the hitch at the top? Or are we going to get it about a metre shy and get our crew to winch that last metre? Which if you've got a very shallow slipway is a good way to do it. You don't want to be shooting off the front of the trailer. So key thing is, make sure there's enough tide for you to be able to recover. We're on a falling tide now, so we need to get it right so that we don't suddenly find that we can't recover the boat. Make sure your man doing the trailer, or lady, whoever, has got it far enough in the water. That's absolutely key. And make sure you've got some good hand signals so that you know when they're ready and they've got the handbrake on, because otherwise you just push the trailer up the slipway. So we'll go and get it lined up, drive it in, and see how we get on. So the hard bit is getting the boat lined up straight. Now, it's in far enough, I reckon. So now I've got to do is, and obviously I'm offset, so I'm just gently in and out of gear, just trying to imagine a line down the centre of the boat and the trailer. And I've got a, quite a stiff breeze trying to take the bow. So it's an interesting little exercise. I'm slightly offline there. Wheel over a bit. And I can see I'm nowhere near straight, but the wheels have just straightened me up. That looks really quite nice. So all I've done there is just come in at tick over. I'm still in gear at the moment. So now I'm going to go forward and attach my line. So I'm going to do engine to neutral. I'm going to leave it running just for a moment. So what we can do now is we can take our line nicely over the winch. So we're all the way around the post. Strap us on there so we can't go anywhere. So that's really nice and safe now. We'll just come round to the helm again. Straighten up that wheel. And we'll just have another little click of a head. That's it, we're up against the post now, just felt it click. So into neutral, I'm going to turn the engine off now, give it a raise, so that we're absolutely certain we're not going to drag it on the floor, because that would be really, really bad day. That's super. Just take the slack in on my line, ready to be pulled out okay haven't got the winch strap on yet we're going to do that just as we get onto the slipway so we're going to get ourselves out first clear the slipway for someone else keep going right the first thing i'm going to do is go and get my chock and chock my trailer I'm going to walk up, undo my winch strap, pop it on, winch the boat that last little bit. Just want winching in the last part, just to get it nice and central. Nice and secure. And that's really nice. We're nice and central that way, and it's nicely in the middle there. And then what we would do, is we'd also take our black line and tie it off so we've got a double way of holding the bow down and then we put all the straps on. Sometimes it's not always possible to get the boat fully onto the trailer. Now this is a really ideal truck because it's got a drop down tailgate. You can do it with a, a normal car if you want but this works better. So what we're going to do is I'm going to 
be past the winch strap by my Agle crew member. I can then clip that onto our D-ring and he can winch me from the sort of a couple of foot and make the boat nice and secure. And it's just another way to do it. It works very well if you've got a very shallow slipway and you can't get the truck any further in or you don't want to get it that wet. So, we're ready. Are you ready, sir? Yep. Would you like to pass me the strap? And I just position myself. He'll pass me up the strap. Nice big D-ring on the end of it. I just lean over, clip that on, and as if by magic it works. Then as he winches, because of the wheels on the trailer, that just brings me nicely in. And it's a really good way of getting the trailer nice and central. I'll just move my weight back because otherwise he's having to winch me as well. And then a little top tip just before you take it up the slipway, because we've only got one bit of string holding the thing. If we pop that around and then back on, that just means I've got a second and it just makes me feel a little bit more comfy. Lock it off and we're ready to go. Engine's trimmed up, up the slipway we go. Job done. So that's our boat back on the trailer. We've done winching it on, we've done driving it on. Now to get it ready for the road, the first thing we've got to do is give it a good flush. Now that's not always possible at a slipway here, we're quite lucky. So washing requires all over the engine, bottom of the hull, and then most importantly on the trailer, do the wheels and the brakes with more water we can get in there, the better. If you're lucky, you have auto flushing hub. And then we go put the straps on. So strap on from the stern, pulling the boat forward, strap on the, from the bow, pulling the boat back. And then when you drive down the road, do a mile, put the brakes on, not hard, but put the brakes on so that everything settles, find yourself a lay-by, pull in, recheck all your straps. You don't want to find 50 miles later the poor thing's loose. So do a mile, stop, recheck everything, drive home. <laughs>